Hey everyone, this is Michael Trethart, National Technology Instructor, and I want to talk with you a little bit about the big three Keller Williams websites. Every time I go out to do a training session, that's always one of the biggest topics is what are they, how do we use them, I don't understand the differences between the three, all that type of information. So, so here we go, hopefully this will help to clear it up. But basically, as a Keller Williams agent, you have a Market Leader IDX link, you have a WolfNet IDX link. These are your your uh, searches. These are the ones that are going to connect to your MLS that allow you to show all the property in your MLS with lead capture. Now here's a very technical looking boat, but coming up very soon right here on your screen is your eEdge dashboard boat. You are out there shopping and fishing for some leads. And so what you see is you see on the left hand side you see the eEdge website connected to Market Leader. You see eAgency connected to WolfNet. Biggest difference between the two, eEdge is for the clients you have not met. For instance, that is what we always tell everybody, that's the buyer site. Here's an example of an eEdge site. This one is not completely all about Helen, even though it's got some branding for Helen. It's really more generic, more about the people that she has not met. It does very well with search engine optimization. It does well on Craigslist, Facebook postings, things like that. So think of your, think of your eEdge site as more the buyer driven site. The e-agency site is for the clients that you have met. This is your business card site. This is the site that you're going to give out to people that is going to represent your business, represent your look, your vision. So here's one for Susan McKinney. This is one that is uh, of the two sites, e-edge and e-agency. E-agency is the older of the two, but it is still quite powerful. You can go in pretty much strip it down to the bare bones of the site and then rebuild it in the look and the feel that you want. And that's what's happened here with Susan's website. With custom design look that my team designed for her. And it's really a good site for her to put on her business cards. So those are the two big broad differences. eEdge, great for buyer sites, great for Craigslist and Facebook postings. Could be your primary, but most people are going to go in and make it your business site. eAgency, typically is the primary site. However, you could go in and create subdivision niche sites, foreclosure, short sell sites, recruiting sites, pretty much anything. And I'm going to show you some samples of those in just a second. But there is a third website and that is the white pages. And the white pages is pretty easy to set up. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to log into kw.com. You're going to come, come over here and you're going to click on profile. And when you click on profile, it's going to bring you to a screen with some columns and if you go to the other column and you hit edit if you go down this list that comes up and fill and you basically fill in every single blank that pertains to you you will get a higher percentage on your white pages you come down here and you fill in your bio you put in all your social media links one little tip everybody gets stuck on the LinkedIn one they're not asking for the full LinkedIn URL they're asking just for that little piece right there so you would Google LinkedIn Michael Trithart the URL that comes up, you take just that portion and put it in there. But basically you fill in all of these blanks and you hit save. When you do that and somebody comes over here to kw.com and they do a search for find an agent because they're thinking about working with you, they're going to type in your name, they're going to hit search, and your profile page is going to come up. This is your white pages. It is public facing. However, other Keller Williams agents, because you filled in this information, can come over here into the back office of kw.com and do a referral search. So if somebody is looking to send a client from Virginia to Texas or vice versa, agents can come into the back office of kw.com, can come down here to where you see the white pages, click on that, and then do an agent referral search. So you will have the potential to pick up more business just by going in and setting up the back office of the white pages. All of that is done very easily and if you look on my website which is michaeltrithart.com you go to where it says sites for your business and you come over here to where it says lead capture and generation. I got a link right here that says 100% on your kw.com white pages. You click on that there's the steps on how to get to 100%. So that's the third site so you got e-edge, you've got e-agency, you've got your white pages, and then here are some examples of your e-agency sites. They can be your primary, similar to what I showed you earlier. 
but they can also be some niche sites. You can see there on the right-hand side is a recruiting site, builder trade-in on the left-hand side. It can be foreclosures, it can be short sales, it can be whatever you want it to be. You definitely want to go in and make sure that you get WolfNet activated. Even if you decide you don't want to do your e-agency site, which you should, because you're already paying for it, it's $25 a month for all of these tools, you might as well use them. But even if you decide not to do your e-agency, you need to go ahead and get WolfNet powered up. And the reason why is WolfNet is going to manage the mobile app. The mobile app will tie directly into WolfNet. You don't have to set up e-agency, even though you should. You don't have to. All you have to do is to make sure that you have your WolfNet IDX link active. And as long as you have WolfNet in your MLS area, it's going to tie right into the mobile, mobile device. And you're going to be able to share that with your clients. You're going to be able to generate more leads with the mobile device that's coming out very, very soon. So hopefully this clears up a little bit of the confusion that's out there about the big three sites. Your white pages from Keller Williams, your e-edge site, and your e-agency site. Thanks so much.